Hi, this is Arash and welcome to the Epoxy channel. In this channel, we're going to talk about the epoxy resins from the theoretical specs to the most practical ones. So if this is the first video that you're watching or if you're interested in epoxy resins, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Today, I'm going to present special epoxy resins. Hydantoin, also known as glycolyl urea, is a member of the class of compounds known as imidazoles. Imidazoles are compounds containing an imidazole ring, which is an aromatic five-member ring with two nitrogen atoms at positions 1 and 3 and 3 carbon atoms. In these resins, the presence of nitrogen containing heterocyclic provide extensive variation in polarity, viscosity and hydrophobicity by the choice of the alkyl groups. Most of these resins have low viscosity, high polarity and long pot lives, ensuring easy wetting and good adhesion. They show lower viscosity than the bisphenol A-type epoxy resin. Generally, they are superior to a bisphenol A-type epoxy resins and the acrylic resins coatings. They can be used as solvent-free coatings, solvent-free adhesives and photovoltaic element packaging materials. They show good thermal stability and high heat resistance. Insulation potting compounds can be used at 180 centigrade, 5000 hours above. They also possess a, li uh, a life at 130 centigrade for, for 14 years. 40 years. Uh, one great feature of them is their resistance to salt spray corrosion, which is very prominent. So they can be used as anti-folding marine paint covering buildings in ships, adhesives and other buildings. They are also perfect choice for application as high voltage and extra high voltage electric application or exist. And they show uh, especially excellent arc resistance. These special resins can be used for variety of applications including glass fiber winding processes, pultrusion processes, Epoxy casting material, temperature resistance power coatings, heavy anti corrosive coatings, weather resistance coatings, laminates, etc. Examples include Araldite CY350 by Huntsman Advanced Materials and Hydantin Epoxy produced by Chengdu Yonda Chemical. Halogenated epoxy resins are admixed for special properties, in particular, brominated and fluorinated epoxy resins are used. Brominated bisphenol A is used when F the flame retardant properties are required, such as in some electrical application, for example, printed circuit boards. The tetrabrominated bisphenol A TBBPA can be added to the epoxy formulation as well. The formulation may then be reacted in the same way as pure bisphenol A does. Some non-crossling epoxy resins with very high molar masses are added to engineering thermoplastics also, again to achieve flame retardant properties. They often have a, a high molecular weight. A wide variety of these resins are available for 150 to 180 TT applications. Raminated epoxy resins may be cured using either Dicey or Novala curing agents, both one part resin plus Novala curing agents and two part resin with a Dicey or Novala curing agent in a second package. Systems are available in the market. Generally, these resins are used for printed circuit boards uh, processing. They show excellent thermal stability, good con conductive anodic filament CAF resistance and has fast processing. They can contain up to 58% of bromine. Fluorinated epoxy resins have been investigated for some high performance applications. As it has a, a low surface tension, it is added to a wetting agent surfactant for contact with glass fibers. Its reactivity to the hardener is comparable to that of bisphenol A. 
When cured, the epoxy resin leads to a thermosetting plastic with high chemical resistance and low water absorption. However, the commercial uh, use of fluorinated epoxy resin is limited by their high cost and low TGs. Epicode electrical laminating resins of commercial examples of these types of resins. Polyethylene glycols PEGs are composed of polyether compounds repeating uh, ethylene glycol units according to the constituent monomer or parent molecule. PEO is a high polymer polyethylene oxide with molecular weight ranging from 150,000 to 10 million and is uh, created through the polymerization of ethylene oxide. Functionalized PEG products include linear methoxy PEG, bifunctional, multi-arm, branched PEG derivatives, and PEG Dendrimeyer copolymers and blinkers. Epoxide PEG epoxide is EP PEG EP is a linear bifunctional PEG reagent with two epoxide groups. Epoxide PEG epoxide is used to cross-link or pegylate amine or hydroxyl containing molecules and surfaces. 224 arm PEG epoxide is a multi multi arm PEG derivative with epoxide or epoxy at each terminal of the forearms connected to the pentaretitol core. Epoxide reacts with the amine hydroxyl group at basic conditions. Epoxide also polymerizes with when initiated with an alcohol molecule in the presence of catalyst to form polymer with pendant hydroxyl groups. These resins are soluble in water and aqueous buffer, chloroform, methylene chloride, DMF, DMSO, and less soluble in alcohol or toluene. PEO is also used in the formation of the epoxy system as a toughener or for curing purposes. Resorcinol or resorcin is a phenolic compound. It is an organic compound with a shown chemical structure. It is one of the three isomeric benzodiols, the one three isomer or meta isomer. Resorcinol crystallizes from benzene and colorless needles that are readily soluble in water, alcohol, and ether, but insoluble in chloroform and carbon disulfide. Resorcinol is mainly used in the production of resins. As a mixture with phenols, it condensates with formaldehyde to afford adhesives. Such resins are used as adhesives in the rubber industry and others are used for wood glue. As an adhesive, resorcinol is both strong and more importantly very waterproof. This makes it effective for use in boats or humid environment as moisture does not affect resorcinol adhesives in the way it would mostly affect other types of adhesives. Eresis RDGE is a resorcinol deglycidyl ether product introduced and commercialized by Huntsman. Epoxidized resorcinol is a, a very low viscosity aromatic diepoxide. When properly formulated, this resin can be used as the sole resin in an epoxy formulation. Its primary use, however, is as a reactive modifier. All epoxy resin curing agents are compatible with it and its blend with epoxides. As a result of the product's high reactivity, formulators have increased latitude in curing agent selection. Epoxy formulations modified with this type of resin exhibit viscosity reduction, significantly faster cures, and high crosslink densities. Higher crosslink density produces higher strengths, better heat and chemical resistance than formulations modified with other reactive diluents. Property modification is concentration dependent. Due to the purity of this resin, crystallization of this resin can occur. The crystallized resin can be liquefied without damage to the resins by opening the drum bunk and heating it to a temperature of 50 to 60 centigrade. Reliquified resin should be mixed before sampling or practical use. 
This resin can be stored at 50 centigrade to prevent recrystallization. However, it is not recommended to store at 50 centigrade for more than two weeks. The best condition to store the resin is between 2 to 40 centigrade, in which the resin can be stored until 24 months. This resin typically can be used for conductive adhesives. It is also can be used for pre preg in composites. Due to its high chemical resistance, it can be used for chemical resistant coatings. Moreover, this resin can be used as a viscosity modifier for epoxy Novolux. Among biomass uh, Platform chemicals, furan based compounds are a suitable replacement for petrol sourced chemicals because of their aromatic characteristic and sustainability. The other fact is that the bisphenol A containing substances have been prohibited in food packaging industries because of their leaching to the alignment leading to human exposure to this harmful chemical. Furan is a monocyclic heteroarane with a structure consisting of five member ring con containing four carbons and one oxygen. The schematic is presented here. Chemical compounds containing such rings are also referred to as furans. There is a huge potential to produce furanic compounds from renewable resources such as cellulose and hemicellulose. From cellulose, for example, Glucose can be produced and glucose can be converted into 5-hydroxymethyl-2-furfural or HMF. However, HMF is undergoing many issues that prevent it from commercialization. First, HMF is a hydrophilic and polar molecule that is hardly extracted from aqueous media. Polar Aprotic solvents, uh, uh, aqueous phase modifiers, or ionic liquids have been potential alternative, but these candidates show cost, toxicity, uh, stability, and recycle recyclability limitations, as well as catalyst recovery. Second, HMF is sensitive to acid conditions, the medium in which it produced, yielding humic matter and byproducts. This HMF can be utilized to produce epoxy compounds. The presented schematic displays overall pathways of the seven functional furan containing epoxies prepared from HMF. The synthesis pathway of these epoxy compounds have been presented in the literature and yet this approach is considered as a state of the art and no commercial uh, scale production exists. However, this scenario might change in the near future. Therefore, regarding the future of bio-sourced uh, bio resins, furan and fatty acids are promising building blocks for epoxy resins preparation because of their huge availability. Different uh, properties have been prepared for furan-based epoxies. Here a comparison of the properties relative to bisphenol A resin is presented to complete the picture. First of all, these furan-based uh, epoxy system led to a material having a TG values lower than that obtained from bisphenol A because the presence of the methylene group adjacent to the furan ring induces softness. Similarly, thermal stability are generally lower, but flame retardancy and char yield are much higher compared to those materials produced from bisphenol A. Interestingly, the synthesis of amine hardener starting from furfural enables the synthesis of totally bio-based epoxy uh, derivatives. Different hardeners have shown success in curing these systems, including methyl hexahydrophthalic anhydride MHHPA, uh, D213, and the glycidyl tetraphthalate or DGT. The chemical structure of these hardeners have been presented here. Siloxine is a kind of organosilicon compound which is composed of SiO SiO backbones with side uh, chains R attached to the silicon atoms R2 SiO, where R is the hydrogen atom or an organic radical possibly bearing functional groups. 
The incorporation of this group into product increases the heat and water resistance of the product. It uh, also increases the chemical stability of the product and enhances its electrical properties. Epoxy siloxone refers to a chemical substance that is formed by the reaction between epoxy and siloxane, resulting in a polymer that exhibits high durability, polymeric strength, and corrosion prevention characteristic when applied to metallic substrates. Epoxy siloxane coatings containing inorganic polysiloxane, uh, which is then reacted with organic resins, for example, epoxy, to optimize desirable uh, properties such as cohesive strength. In this context, we have monofunctional epoxy siloxanes, difunctional uh, epoxy siloxane, multifunctional epoxy uh, siloxane epoxies, and cycloaliphatic epoxy siloxanes. They comparably show lower viscosities. Each one has its unique properties. For example, cycloaliphatic epoxy siloxanes characterized by a combination of cycloaliphatic and cycloxane structure which have outstanding weathering characteristics, controlled release, and coefficient of friction and excellent electrical properties. They can be cured either by cationic UV photo initiators or uh, conventional epoxy hardeners. In cationic UV cure systems, the cycloaliphatic epoxy silicon uh, combines the properties of reactive diluent with surfactant properties. The release properties can be employed to make uh, parting layers of multilayer films. If high levels of epoxy functional silicons are used in UV cure formulations, cationic photo initiators with hydrophobic substitutions are preferred. Epoxy silicon coating have several advantages over other coatings, including lower volatile organic compound emissions higher rate of cross-linking density, lower negative effect on health, safety, and the environment, improved weathering, great resistance to nuclear radiation, and greater chemical resistance. Examples of commercial products are uh, Simron 97 one EPS, epoxy siloxane, top coat clear, and epoxy Sil uh, silicon oil TPD6250 supplied by Top DM. Thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please share your thoughts, questions, or comments, and I'll come back to you soon. Thank you.